Squishy, squelchy, leak I sprung. Smell me, smell me. No way, scruff bug. Buckle up, baby. Bad news you be. Try to see this, you silly sex. Prickly pineapple, pimple pumpernickel. Prickly pineapple, pimple pumpernickel. Oh, cares who? Smell I do. Garlic, onions, pee Ready? Now, one onion, two onion, three onion, and four onions. Hi, guys. Hey. How are you doing? All right. Fish? Almost. What is it? Hey, hey. Uh, we're gonna make Calillo del Congro. Oh, yeah. Mum and Dad haven't had that since they left Spain 12 years ago. Yeah. Staring at me with soppy's eyes. Yeah, well, just imagine how the eel feels. We're also gonna make umatis, chapingachos, and picante de pollo. What? That's um, cornmeal chips, yeah. spuds. Yeah. And Chuck? Yeah. Yay, all right. Let's get to work. OK. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Just a minute. I think Beverly wants some. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Beverly. Make sure it doesn't make you cry. Consonant missing. Try peels, seals, meals, wheels, peels on seals, meals on wheels. No, Lotto! No, like a no! Uh, not exactly a snake. Eels are fishy. Not cooked, fresh. One, two, three, four, five. One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. <laughs> that was fun, Lotus, but it's not quite right. And then you looks like a snake swimming. Snake's alive. Let's take a dive. Where are we going, Lotus? Oh, this is no time for games. 
Ew. That's right. Understand. Eels. Any of the various elongated snake-like freshwater or marine fish of the order apodes. Great, Lotus. We better get some for dinner. Yeah. Just that the compressor's low on gas, and it's short cycling. What is that that uh, you do there? We connect these hoses to the freezer. The gas comes through the hose into this recovery unit here. The recovery unit compresses the gas and changes it into liquid. It goes through this hose here and into this gas bottle. So instead of the gas escaping into the atmosphere, it goes into the recovery unit and is reclaimed so it can be used again. Let's go somewhere else. No, this is the only place that I know that sells eels. Hi. <laughs> and what can I do for you, eh? How much are the eels? Ten dollars a kilo. And how much can you get with $3.33? One third of an eel. Right. <laughs> These eels, uh, they're important. Very. Ah. OK. Maybe we can make a trade, huh? Now, who knows a really good story? Eh? I know one. Once upon a time, in a house very much like this one, there was a little boy who was just getting ready for bed. All right. Now, time for bed. If I go and do wee-wee and brush my teeth all by myself, will you read me my favourite story? If you're quick about it, it's past your bedtime. I'll be right back. Remember to wash your hands. Yeah, OK, OK. Make it snappy. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Dad, come here, quick! He's doing it again! What? Not more funny business about the mirror. Yeah, really? Look! Look, no more horsing around, all right? Or I won't read you that story. Oh, but, Dad... And do a good job. Make sure you clean every tooth. Oh, I'll beat you! Didn't I tell you no more horsing around? Now get in there and brush up. I'm going to start counting, and if you're not out by the count of ten, it's straight to bed and no story. One. Two. Three. Four. Hey, come on, I've got to see what I'm doing. Five. Oh. <laughs> Six. You're running out of time. Oh, oh. Oh, very funny. Seven. Only three to go. Come on. Open up. <laughs> Eight. Nine. This is it. If you're not finished in one second... You're too late. Here it goes. Ten. I did it, Dad. Now you've got to tell me the story. Please, look. Yep. 
Sure smells like minty gel, star space, plaque removing two for one toothpaste, all right. Okay, son, I'll read you your favourite story. Goody! Thanks, Dad. Well, it all started this way. Once upon a time, in a house very much like this one, there was a little boy who was just getting ready for bed. Okay, you two. What's up? I'm sorry, I left the cat in. What cat? The cat ate the eels. The cat ate oh, the it's eels. All right. It's, it's alright, all right. Mr. Columbus gave us some more eels for the story. Yeah. Mr. Columbus is a very generous man. I tell you what, let's clear this kitchen for some action. Yeah, what I do? You look different. Do I? It's your hair. Oh yes, I'm trying out a new hairstyle. You've got big ears, you know. Huh? Oh, you look like an elephant, except you don't have the same powerful presence. Oh, an elephant? <laughs> no, that, no, that's wrong. He looks like a taxi cab with both doors open. Oh, <laughs> no! Big ears, big ears, big ears. Oh, oh, no, that can't be true. Oh. <laughs> How does this look? Um, mm, yeah, uh, it looks fine. Mm, My hairdresser said it was all the fashion. I didn't like the idea, but she convinced me. It looks, um, how you say, very black. You hate it, don't you? Oh, well, I think it's perhaps not you. Oh, not me. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Zelda, what I meant was, oh, oh, I've got to get them halfway at least. Oh, 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 it's impossible. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Wolf! Yes, dear lady? I wish to congratulate you on your fine performance of 10,000 Dalmatians. Ah, that role was, in fact, played by Mr. Bloodhow. Oh, I thought you gave a great performance in a Dog's Day matinee. Ah, yes, well, uh, that was Sir Ernest Dingo. Oh, then I wonder if I've ever seen you at all. Oh, indeed you have, dear lady. And moreover, you've seen my back. <gasps> I know that back. Weren't you in the hunchback of Notre Dog? How <laughs> <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Oh, silence! <sighs> May I join you, dear friend? I have just suffered the most intense humiliation in the presence of those three scoundrels. <laughs> oh, don't take it so hard. What has happened to your right ear? You used to have a right ear. Oh, no. It's popped out again. Mm -hmm. ah, is there a hat? I need a hat. What have you done to your hair? Oh, it looks dreadful. Everyone's laughing at me. Oh, lonely. What's wrong with you? Oh, my ears look awful. <sighs> What's the matter with you? We are temporarily embarrassed. Oh, it's all in the eye of the beholder, you know. People used to say that I had a big nose. <laughs> you do have a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen your shoulders lately? What's wrong with my shoulders? You've got shoulders like a milk bottle. Uh, 
Oh, 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 oh there, Mr. Bloodhound. Oh, disappear. Oh, oh, oh. Nice so to see you back at the old cafe, Sir so so Ernest. <laughs> Congratulations on your knighthood. You are so <laughs> close to becoming breakfast. <laughs> As a little boy, I was so embarrassed about my noble knees that I ran away from home. That was when I realized that nobody cared about my knees except for me. <laughs> nobody goes around thinking that uh, Lonely has big ears or Zelda's hair is funny or that Neely's got a big nose. They've got better things to do. <laughs> I've always thought, dear boy, you'd be a handsome man if you hadn't prematurely lost your hair. Uh, my hair. <laughs> Though it does suit you in a way. What? What do you mean? Oh, don't let it worry you. Nobody else is concerned about it. Oh. Don't be embarrassed. Twelve years in this country. Oh, yeah. oh, what a wonderful boy! Turbo. <laughs> Twelve years anniversary. Congratulations. See, Ricardo, you do. <laughs> Hey, Shane, look at the cat. 